Um, yes, uh, I tried recording this earlier. I started coughing like crazy and then <laughs> I had countless distractions. So I'm going to go ahead and try to go ahead and uh, record it now. This is about a dream that I had um, on the night of March 30th, 2005. Um, this was a dream about me holding a child. Very similar to a dream that I had had before and in which uh, that I was also holding a child, but the dream was a little bit different. And the same type of setting was that I was like with my fiance or, or husband at the time, which in the dream, of course, I never saw his face. Um, I know kind of what he, kind of sort of what he looked like, but not the face itself. So anyways, um, and we were doing like missionary work or something. Anyways, this dream was me holding a child and the child was, um, of Indian or Iranian, um, maybe Egyptian descent. Um, this is the part I couldn't tell exactly. Um, I didn't hear any dialect or anything being spoken, so I couldn't really tell you for sure on that one. But, uh, the child had this large jewel encrusted scab. The jewels were like amethyst and the scab was on the child's left leg. It ran from the thigh of the leg to about the middle of the, of the side of its chest. So left leg to the middle of, about the middle of the left side and on its chest. And um, I was supposedly supposed to pull off the scab. I felt compelled to pull off the scab. And as I got ready to pull off this scab, the child looked at me like with the sorrowful look, you know, like when they're kind of, they, they know it's going to hurt and they don't really want you to do it and everything, but they know it needs to be done. Kind of that sorrowful look. And then, so as I pulled the scab off, the child did not cry at all. Didn't whimper, nothing. Didn't cry, uh, didn't cry out, nothing. And under the scab, it was all pussy. And I don't know if anybody really understands what I mean by pussy, but like it was full of pus. So there was like lots and lots of pus underneath the scab. It was, <clears throat> it was very hard to get the scab off and it was stubborn. It really didn't want to come off at all. But I finally got the scab off and then the child was made new again with a clean scab that was starting to form where I had taken that nasty scab off. And after the child looked up at me in thanks, that's when I woke up. So, um, I know something like that in a way has to do with like renewal or, uh, be made new again. Um, I don't know exactly all the details of what it might mean exactly. Um, I thought it was kind of intriguing that it was very descriptive and that it had to do of all things oddly with a jewel, like a, a jeweled scab that was like an amethyst. So I'm not sure exactly what that means. Um, I'm going to probably have to look and see if I can find something. I don't know if there's a particular, I might have to do a bit of research to find it, but it was, it was one of the strangest dreams, honestly, I've had. It, it was, um, uh, very odd, but, um. I'm not a great one at interpreting dreams. I mean, um, I have asked to uh, have where I can understand and interpret the dreams, but it's nothing that's really um, uh, manifested to be able to 
to do completely. I mean, I get a little bit of understanding, but I don't really understand them exactly. Um, so all I can do is basically kind of get from others that might understand or can interpret it or look it up. And that's kind of a hit and miss thing. Maybe it may not even be accurate either because I don't know if what I'm looking up and researching and finding if it's actually biblical or not. Um, so, uh, if anybody has an interpretation of this, what exactly it's supposed to mean or, uh, knows by something else that maybe they've experienced or dreamt about or something that, you know, what it means and stuff, leave a comment down in the box, the comment section below. And, um, then, um, if I find anything else in between, I'll probably do a follow-up update video. Uh, I was thinking about update videos to any other revelations on any of the dreams that I've been posting. If I get any new information or something else is brought upon my mind, um, uh, what other, other interpretations might be of people that actually do interpret dreams. So, um, I'll probably do a video and like, you know, say a specific dream, like that, uh, an interpretation was given and blah, you know, whatever the interpretation is and, um, maybe get some feedback and input on it. But, um, this is probably the last one for tonight. Um, since it took me such a while to get it up and that, and, uh, I hope everything has went well for everybody in the day. My day was actually pretty good. And a little slight little kind of hiccup, but um, other than that, it was pretty good and very joyous day and looking forward to seeing everyone soon. And it, as long as he doesn't tarry, but um, maybe we'll see each other in the air and God bless. Good night.